डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज सर कुमेल एंड टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ माय लेक्चर इज एटिन्यूएशन बेसिक सर्किट एटिन्यूएशन एंड ओवरऑल वोल्टेज गेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन सो यू विल ऑलवेज नोटिफाई मी now we will start our lecture in today's class i will teach you about the attenuation what is the definition of attenuation how it is calculated what's its effects on the gain of the amplifier circuit all these we will study today now i am just doing zoom in the screen so you may clearly see what's the definition of attenuation i am using highlighter to highlight the definition this is the definition which i have highlighted with yellow color attenuation is the reduction in signal voltage as it passes through a circuit and corresponds to a gain of less than 1 attenuation is the reduction into the amplitude of a signal when a signal is given on input of a circuit and we get the output from that circuit so if the output is less than the input if the magnitude of the output is less than the magnitude of the input then we will say there is a reduction in the signal and this reduction is called attenuation whenever the output is less than the input we have the gain less than 1 here the example is given for example for example if the signal amplitude is reduced by half the attenuation is 2 it means if the signal is reduced by half the signal is reduced 50% you are getting the signal reduced 50% at the output in comparison with the input so the signal is reduced by half then the attenuation is 2 it means attenuation is 2 times the factor is 2 the factor of attenuation is 2 that's why signal is getting reduced by half at the output remember attenuation is the reciprocal of gain or you can say gain is the reciprocal of attenuation both are inversely proportional to each other if the factor of attenuation is 2 then gain will be 1 upon attenuation i e 1 upon 2 that is 0.5 so the gain is 0.5 then there is example of voltage i am using again yellow highlighter to highlight these sentences suppose a source produces a 10 millivolt input signal and the source resistance combined with the load resistance results in a 2 millivolt output signal so here it is mentioned in an example that uh, we are actually uh, driving the circuit with the help of a source which is uh, generating an input signal of 10 millivolt and the source resistances combined with the load resistances overall resistances makes it reduce to 2 millivolt at the output so the output signal which you are getting actually is of 2 millivolt 10 millivolt at input 2 millivolt 2 millivolt at output so what is the reduction the reduction is of 8 millivolt 10 minus 2 it is 8 8 millivolt so what is the attenuation in this case 
we will just divide 10 millivolt by 2 millivolt and the answer is 5 so the factor of attenuation is 5 it means there is the reduction in the value of the signal there is the reduction in the magnitude of the signal that's why the attenuation is 5 times so, so the factor is 5 and if we want to find out the gain we already know gain is the reciprocal of attenuation so we will divide 1 by 5 and 1 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.2 so the gain of voltage voltage gain in this case is 0 0.2 now there is a circuit and we have to find the overall voltage gain of this circuit first I will zoom in the circuit then I will uh, teach you the calculations uh, so you will learn how we have find out the uh, overall voltage gain of the circuit let me zoom in okay I have zoom in the circuit for you now look this is the circuit of BJT transistor and it is a circuit of common emitter amplifier configuration we are getting output voltage at the collector terminal this is collector resistance which is connected at the output this is RS source resistance this is VS source voltage this VS is actually driving the whole common emitter amplifier circuit and with the help of this voltage divider bias resistors we are able to get reduce magnitude of source voltage at the base terminal why because if we give whole value whole magnitude of source voltage at the base terminal then the amplifier will be damaged there is a chance to get amplifier damage and we don't want to get our amplifier damage that's why we have used this voltage divider bias resistors R1 and R2 so that we may get less value of source voltage at the base terminal so these are solved parallelly R1 parallel with R2 now see this is the base voltage and this is the collector voltage as I have already told you this is the common emitter amplifier configuration in common emitter amplifier configuration uh, emitter is AC ground and uh, we are uh, given the input at the base terminal and we are getting output at the collector terminal so here output voltage is VC collector voltage and the input voltage is VB base voltage so what is the voltage gain from base to collector here I am highlighting it with the help of green highlighter the voltage gain from base to collector is VC divided by VB remember voltage gain is output voltage divided by input voltage so here is output voltage is VC and input voltage is VB so voltage gain from base to collector is VC divided by VB and we have to find out the overall voltage gain the overall voltage gain is from source voltage to collector I am repeating again the overall voltage gain is from source voltage to collector okay now look what is the attenuation attenuation for this circuit is Vs divided by Vb as I have already told you Vs is the source voltage and we are not giving the full value of it to the input why because if we give the full value of Vs then obviously our amplifier configuration will get damage that's why we are reducing it and the reduced value of Vs is given at the input which is called VB base voltage which is the input voltage for this common emitter amplifier configuration 
now how much the values reduce how much source voltage is reduce this is called attenuation so attenuation here is vs divided by vb as we have previously seen that 10 volt is reduced to 2 volt so we divided 10 uh, millivolt by 2 millivolt and the answer is 8 millivolt and the answer is 5 so here we are dividing vs with vb vs divided by vb so we will get the attenuation of this circuit now look at this formula attenuation is equal to vs divided by vb here for this circuit we have used voltage divider rule what does voltage divider rule mean what is the definition of voltage divider rule the definition of voltage divider rule is that if we want to find voltage across the resistor remember voltage divider rule is applied when there are two resistors connected in series and there is a uh, voltage source in series with them then we can apply voltage divider rule so if we want to find the voltage across one of the two resistors then the resistor across which we have to find the voltage that resistor will come in the numerator there will be sum of both resistors in the denominator and the whole factor will be multiplied by total voltage this is the technical definition of VDR voltage divider rule now here VB is across total input resistance here VB is the voltage which is across the total input resistance <clears throat> so if we want to find the value of VB then I will obviously apply voltage divider rule what is the formula of VB I am writing it for you input total input resistance divided by rs plus total input resistance multiplied by vs vs is the total source voltage so if we arrange this formula algebraically then we will find out this formula of attenuation okay this is not so much difficult to arrange this formula it is a, a mathematical algebra then we will find out the formula for attenuation so the formula for attenuation is so the formula for attenuation is Vs divided by Vb is equal to Rs plus total input resistance divided by total input resistance okay now look at the formula for overall voltage gain we have used the symbol AV for voltage gain from base to collector now we are using some different symbol which is AV dash for overall voltage gain which is from source to collector now we want to find overall voltage gain then we will multiply voltage gain with uh, voltage gain with the gain okay so here the formula for attenuation is this Vs upon Vb as I have already told you the gain is reciprocal of attenuation so if I want to find the gain between Vs and Vb
then I will take the reciprocal of attenuation. Attenuation is Vs upon Vb and the reciprocal of it will be Vb upon Vs. So the gain between Vs to Vb from source to base terminal, the gain is Vb upon Vs. Okay. Now we will multiply this gain Vb upon Vs with the voltage gain from base terminal to collector terminal. So we have multiplied it with the voltage gain from base to collector terminal. Vc upon Vb. Vc upon Vb is the voltage gain from base to collector terminal and Vb upon Vs is the gain, is the voltage gain from source to base terminal. Now Vb will be cancelled by Vb and the formula of overall voltage gain is Vs upon Vc upon Vs. The formula for overall voltage gain of common emitter amplifier configuration is Vc upon Vs. So you have, you have learned how the attenuation affects the overall voltage gain. Okay, uh, this is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel and uh, click on the bell icon. So you will get all the notifications when I uh, will upload the new videos on my channel. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, wait for the next video.